Alright guys, welcome back to Local Battles Clash of Legends. This is the uh, the Rise of Legends, the first event here at uh, the Local Battles Land Center in New Jersey. And uh, we have a tournament going on for first prize of $500 in cash, and then $3,200 in RP, and then Triumph of Rise skin for everybody. So uh, everybody's fighting for uh, that big prize. I'm Egan, joining me here is uh, Achilleos, and uh, we've had some very interesting games so far. Some stomps, some yeah, a couple even, stomps. then turning into a stomp, and then... Uh, Hopefully this will be a little more even. We're going to to start the lobby and such. And then uh, looks like a uh, guy walking around is telling him to start it up. And uh, they, they have the lead, so we'll just tell them we're ready to go. And it's best of one so far. And when we hit the finals, that's when best of threes happen. So semifinals, best of one. And then grand finals, best of three. And yep. uh, yeah, it's been fun so far. Little little long breaks in between. Yeah, we're trying to try to shorten them each one. Each one's yeah. getting smaller it's getting and smaller, smaller so which, is, which is good. It's improvement. Working our way on to getting <laughs> you know in and out, in and out, in and out. So that's good. Um, right. So they're asking if they're ready. Looks like uh, someone wants to meditate, but yeah. that's not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, let's get these guys into the chance like as quickly as possible. Yeah, the lobby looks. Everybody's ranks looks uh, fairly even. You know, plat, gold, and three diamonds, and then just plats and one one gold. So it looks. It's actually more even than the matches we've actually seen before, so we'll, we'll hopefully see a nice, nice even game out of this. And yeah, so far we've only seen the stomps, but there's been some, there's been some solid games uh, apparently thrown in intermittently in between that we, uh, you know, haven't been able to stream. <laughs> uh, we've just happened to stream the ones that end up being very one-sided. Yeah. Um, so hopefully, yeah, like you were saying, hopefully this one really turns out to be a little bit better. 60-minute um, epic. <laughs> that, well, you know, if, if, if that's what dreams, has to happen. The dreams of uh, all casters everywhere. Yeah. But uh, it's been, we'll see. It's been one, one of those uh, so far. You know, 14 teams live. That's it's kind of hard to get together in general. Yeah, I think. I don't think how many matches have actually happened to get uh, so far. To I think this is definitely at least the. This will be the sixth. I think the sixth. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so a couple so we've, teams we've already eliminated. So we clear all the, uh, the first stage of the bracket after these games, and then we'll do the semis where Jellybean Inc. got a uh, bye, and then OBGYN Kenobi has a, has a bye as well. <laughs> but uh, they'll be waiting for their opponents, that which actually Jellybean will be playing against thanks for $500, and OBGYN will be playing against uh, SKT14. <laughs> okay. So I wasn't sure if they came back from it. I knew that they no, were down. I think server down lost, yeah, okay. from what I heard. So... Okay, so that, that'll be an interesting game to see then. See how these uh, develop as we move on and towards the uh, you know the semifinal matches and whatnot. Yep. So. Uh, are we good? Let's see. Are we good? Question mark. Let's just try to get these guys moving along here. There we oh, go. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, that was that's all they needed. They just need to hear from you, <laughs> and they're like, oh, well, you guy wants us to. Move. <laughs> All right, so we'll see what they want to ban away. We've seen pretty pretty much meta bans, nothing too crazy and orthodox. So I wanted to play Heimerdinger. Heimerdinger would be pretty fun to see. <laughs> Nearly gets banned away, I pretty wish. much played every game. You know? Yeah, so far from what we've seen, 100% yes. pick rate out of the two. Um, and just so you guys know, we do have Team Endgame on the blue side and Big Black Carrot, or as we'll probably just call him, uh, BBC oh, over God. on the purple side. That's terrible, but uh, <laughs> Brom gets banned away as well as the Morgana, and then a Kha'Zix to follow suit, taking away two big supports and a uh, big jungler in that. Maybe Lee Sin will follow suit, or uh, maybe maybe an AD carry ban or something like that, but we'll see. Yeah, so far, and there's, you know, like I said, the Brom ban, as usual. Still, I'm still not a, a big supporter of that one, but we'll have to see what happens uh, and just see who they decide to go with over him. Now LeBlanc going to be the last band coming out for Endgame. Two big mids taken away. Yeah, two mains. Uh, yeah, LeBlanc just very, very strong. Very hard to deal with. Uh, can very much just get out of control. So not very surprising at all. We've seen her all day. And there's actually the Yasuo ban. So, okay. interesting. So they're just, okay, so Middle East already taken away. They're going to take away Yasuo anyway, so... I guess they just don't want to have to play against one of those uh, in either the mid or the top lane. Yeah, Yasuo is pretty scary if he gets snowballed. And even if even if he uh, gets turned down early, his late game, you know, he gets Infinity's Edge and Static Shiv and just crits it out. It doesn't matter. As long as he has those two items, he's always set to go. So, waiting for the first pick. I think I'll go for a safe support. There's Thresh still open. There's uh, Leona. Maybe, mm, the maybe Kale, though. She did get through this time. 
I believe she was. Uh, Ravenous Hydra Kale. Pretty yeah. good. Oh, yeah. actually, Ruin's Hurricane. Out yeah, okay. I was going to say that, yeah, the Hurricane with her. Um, Hurricane National Different, Tifria. Different H word. Yes. Yeah, the Hurricane on, on her new, uh, a newfound feat, and it's just phenomenally great for that wave clear and just burning down teams to get into a fight right there. Yep. Um, so we will see her locked in over on the purple team. It's like Suicune and I got Pub Stomp looking to go for... Well, he's flashing around a little bit. Looks like Suicune's a little bit set on that Leona though. Not right. surprising. Locks it in. Pretty safe pick. Now maybe looking to pair that with... I, I think Lucian would be better but Caitlyn's pretty safe as well. Yeah. I think I think Lucian's the safer bet because he can actually proc the sunlights better, and uh, the passive just synergize. They have a lot of good mobility. And Lucian he can play it safe, he can poke from afar as well with his piercing lights. And, uh, time taken away. I think I think this is gonna be locked. I'm pretty I, sure. Yeah, I, it's definitely the better choice over the Caitlyn. It'll it'll allow them to be a bit more aggressive. Oh wow! Oh, Last second stop. swap to the Tristana. Uh, okay. Not one that we see very often nowadays. No. She's so kind of falling off hard. Um, maybe the AP mid just thought of this comes out of nowhere. <laughs> it, it might be. Uh, you never know, really. Uh, especially in Atlanta. You could, you could just really throw out anything. The pocket card just comes out of nowhere. <laughs> Fake them out. Best of ones, cheese it out. Why not? Do it up. <laughs> but, I mean, uh, she could become very, very powerful if not dealt with. So uh, I wouldn't be terribly surprised if it was, but I do think that we're going to see her in the bot lane as ADC. She's still one of the best uh, hyper carries in oh, the yes. game. So. Absolutely, and there's another uncommon one being played around with right there by Demon. Misfortune being hovered over. Misfortune and Thresh, they, they haven't seen a pairing in the lane together in forever. Yeah. Misfortune, I... I want to say that she's probably underrated. She's still, she's pretty strong now. They changed some of her stuff. Her, her AP ratio is back. Oh, it's fantastic and, now. And uh, I don't think we're gonna see AP MF, but you know, <laughs> you, you still get a lot of damage with the spray, with the bullet time. And then thresh pair with that, you get a binding. I mean, you get a binding, you get a hook, and then a flay, and then double up, and they're gonna take a bunch of damage. Yeah, they have really, really nice harass. Uh, decent escape. Um, I mean, they can chase down people. She's got her strut. He's yep. got the grabs and everything. She, she can always uh, lantern her forward and they can get in on somebody. Now we see Purple going to play around with potentially the Udir. Maybe even a Fiddlesticks in the jungle. And it looks like Willmeister is pretty committed to that Darius top so far. All right. So. Which is still a little bit of an uncommon one these days. And there he goes. He's going to lock it in. Still very strong with the Darius. Pretty ballsy pick, I'm not gonna lie. The Fiddlesticks as well, if you use my Fiddlesticks as blue early on, he is gonna have a really rough time in the jungle, can't stay out the drain, he'll get chunked away and have to back multiple times before he can gank. His level six is, gets hurt as well, catch Crow Storm in. I like the Darius pick, you know, he's got a strong top lane, he's got a bleed to be annoying. That could be top lane kill though from the blue side. And then they just switch it up and put like Cassidy in if they're looking for that. Or uh that would be Lee Sin's you know, available. Warwick, Hecarim. Yeah, they have a lot of maybe powerful junglers available. Elise is up, yep. um, so we can grab her up. You know, just overall great utility jungler with her. You can either, I mean, you can take her damage, you can take her very tanky. Um, she's got a great amount of damage uh, just in her kit alone, and then she's also got a fantastic CC with her cocoon. Um, great chase, great escape with the propel. So she is open, but looks like you might have been right here. Ah, Lisa. No, no, I'm a steer Ergot. <laughs> Ergot jungle, let's go. Oh, and go back to the Lisa, unfortunately. All right, whatever. I think that'd be really interesting. I wouldn't mind seeing an Ergot jungle. Nah, it, it wouldn't work, but, you know. <laughs> he, he probably has a decent clear time because he can just spam out his Q, but yeah. that's all speculation. If he doesn't get counter jungle or anything, that, he's got a mobility. But Lisa, safer pick. Cassidy going to be going mid as well as so it didn't get a band away. And um, counter pick for that might hmm. be the Ari. I don't know about I don't know Twisted. about Darius versus Kale either, because Kale has the she's the, got a huge amount of range on him. That's only when she has her E up though, so she's got to be uh, very careful with judging her distances, because you know Darius can pull you in, just bleed you up, and you're gonna have a really rough time. Yep, and the Ari does get locked in. All right, so High Rai is gonna go ahead and pick that Ari. So this is a very interesting team fight that we're gonna have here. All right, I'm trying to see. Kick mm. bullet time box, and then chase down from Kale Cassidy, I guess. But 
Yeah, the blue team doesn't seem that well synergized. I mean, with the box and I guess MF's bullet time, that's going to be a good amount of that's that's going to be a good amount of damage overlapping, especially if Kale can get pretty beefy and have that Runin's Hurricane. That's a lot of AOE damage going out. Yep. But I really like the I really like the fiddle alt into the Leona alt. <laughs> And then Darius just chopping people and down. And then, yeah, Darius just in the center, just spinning on everybody, and then just, you know, just axing away at people. That's going to be really, really interesting. Um, you know, they have a really powerful engage with the Rocket Leap in. We have yep. the Zenith Blade, her Solar Flare, um, Fiddle's Ultimate, even Ari's Dashes. They have a lot of ways to close gaps here mm -hmm. by comparison, so. Yeah, we're going to hit that uh, three minutes back here delay, though. But before that, we're going to give a uh, quick shout out to the sponsors of this event. You check them all out. Run with Scissors. You can check out uh, the New York City LOL Facebook group. So you can go join around. If you're from New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, PA, whatever area, you go check out that. And any of your local battles will be the place for you to visit if you want to play some League. Uh, Maxonic uh, gaming chairs. Everyone here is using one. They're all set up. They're all comfortable. Everybody's enjoying them. No complaints from what I've heard. And then uh, Girl Gamer Vlog. Girl Gamer Vlog. Yeah, check out some blogs, some vlogs, uh, interviews, whatever they post up there. And uh, Yeah, they're I'm writing a lot of content from the event here today. So yeah. if you guys are interested in seeing some of the behind the scenes type stuff, uh, be sure to check it out. Yeah, and we're going to go to that break. And when we come back, this game will be loaded up, and we'll see you soon. Unfortunate timer for the pause. That, you know, that gives me some, you know, some time to line, line this up. There we go. Yeah. All right. So being productive while we're in the, uh, the 
screen here for pausing. MF and Thresh off to a nice lead. Yeah, they already bought they their got, items. They got the items in. Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, <laughs> the winning factor now. Blue side with the slight advantage. Who can buy the, f the fastest? Yeah, they were like, bam, we're in the ref. Boom. Let's go. <laughs> Get the lane. She's already out of the. She's already almost out of the fountain too, which is actually pretty funny. But is that strut doing work? Yeah, strut. Fast has gotten. I think it, it received a nerf or buff. I don't remember. Uh, he got. It was a, it was a while ago. I can't remember all the patches. There's too many. Yeah, he's been flipped back and forth so many times recently. I'm not really sure which one we're on, whether it was a nerf or a buff. This yeah. most recent patch. Um, but uh, it's gonna be a coin start too for Thresh. So that's that's the rare, interesting thing. Like we've seen a lot of uh, relic shield for Threshes, as yeah. well as uh, Thorn shield start. If anything, uh, maybe maybe the same from Leona to come through. Maybe she'll. I think she'll most likely start relic. And. I feel like they should invade the Phil Six, like, you know, just deny him whatever you can. Yeah, they have a good team, a decent team for it, too. If Thresh can grab a hook on somebody, yep. I mean, that into a slow from Kale, you have the double shot yep. um, from MF. Lee Sina, of course, you know, he can slow with his E, or if he just decides to go with his Sonic Wave, he can do that as well. Um, you know, and then, of course, you have your silence off of Kazadin. So yep. there's a lot that they could do with an invade here, and it'd be very good for them if they could take away the blue from that fiddle six like you were saying it'll just essentially render him useless very true so top lane matchup is as well it's gonna be very poke heavy from both sides darius could just bully his way through the front but he has to be careful you know, the mid lane matchups are versus cast uh the cast changes really made it interesting you know this q can soak up some of the magic damage from ari as well if he just maxes that and just looks to trade all day Ari has the range advantage with the auto attacks. It looks like the pause was resumed. And we'll be going into uh, this game. All right, right, here they go. So, like you said, Leona going with the Relic Shield. So. And Tome start for the Fiddlestick Jungle as well with a ward. So, no potions, no mana pots, just falls the wall damage. <laughs> whatever. He just you does not what? care. I'm just going to drain everything <laughs> and sustain for forever because I can do that. I can dig it. I can <laughs> dig it. I've and if you can see MF, she's already pushing forward into the river. She's going to throw down that trinket ward right there. Leona uh -oh. going to see her. And she's going to try to get some damage in. She's going to take some auto. There's a stun auto coming across, but the rest of the team's coming in. Make it rain. Whoa. The grab lands from Thresh. A lot of damage coming in. There's the sonic wave. Resonate strike goes off. Ari forced the flash. Kale flashes over, though. A little bit unnecessarily. And people just, uh, both teams all over the place. Thresh split off right now. Uh, there's going to be some recalls going out from both Leona, Ari, that and was, MF. That was really sloppy. That was all over the place. Yeah. The, the Thresh hit the hook, didn't go in with it, and Kale flashes out of nowhere. Yeah, the, the Kale flash, I think, really made it very sloppy. But for it was it was only one summoner from uh, the blue side, which is uh, Endgame. So they, yep. they come on ahead. They took two flashes. Two flashes for one. Yeah, so it's, so it's, it's good, okay. Good trade for them, but... Very much unnecessary for the kill. The but top we do lane is susceptible to a gank now, too, if anything. Just fiddle six runs in, fears, silences, and then gets pulled in by Darius, and like, good night for her. Exactly. Yeah, actually, I didn't even really think about the uh, the, the fiddle ganking in and on uh, on Kale. I mean, even as we go into later yep. game, like post six, with that silence, uh, as much damage as both fiddle and Darius can put, can put out, with that silence, uh, they might be able to just stop her before she gets her intervention up mm -hmm. uh, to mitigate everything. So, but here we go. Resuming again, guessing just minor technical difficulties. Like usual. Just like okay. okay. Oh, my mouse isn't working. I'm just plug it back in. <laughs> Did you plug it in? No. Oh. Have you tried power cycling your router? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right. So, they'll be, it looks like they'll be safe starts. No, no crazy invades or anything like that. Blue buff star for Phil Six, red for Lee Sin. And we'll be on our merry way to just having a very safe beginning to the game. No one getting caught up or anything like that. A Misfortune versus Tristana, a matchup we haven't seen in ages. Yeah, both two ADCs, both just not used very often facing up against each other. So it's going to be interesting to see how this one spells out. Unless MF can get a decent start, though, I feel like Tristana's going to very much outscale her with uh, her increased range and yes. her hyper carry ability. For sure. Um, uh, she started making it rain as well, so she doesn't have much loss yeah. of potential up top and just trading oh, back Oh yeah, forward. Darius putting out a lot of damage on Kale. Those bleeds are just doing work. She's trying to trade it back. They're actually, she's actually doing a decent job of it. Mostly minions helping with that. Yeah. I feel like uh, we're probably going to see Lee Sin go, you know, 
finish his jungle clear, get the blue, and then probably go straight up to the top lane to gank that Darius and yeah. try to shut him down early. Because uh, the Darius getting out of hand, it's very, very hard to deal with as you get into the mid game. So, yeah. He just runs at you, and like <laughs> if, he, if he builds like Trinity Force or like uh, 2 2 boots early, maybe boots of swiftness, you're gonna ha pretty much not be able to escape, so. Yeah, not unless you, you even get a little bit away from him, he deals more damage to you with that Q. Yeah, it, um, the range is it's interesting. If you're closer to him, you get less damage. If you're about just the axis at a distance away, you take the maximum amount of damage, which is actually significant. And it uh, looks like he's calling for a little bit of assistance up there too, so maybe maybe pinging for uh, Dame Kameza to just come up. But Lee Sin's already kind of making his way up, as you see in that river. He's, he's walking yeah. up there. He may actually come around for this game. He is not seen at all. He's trying to get in here. Um, waiting for the lane to push a little bit, but Kale is really just shoving against him, so I don't think he's going to get a successful gank. He's running in right now, though, uh, so we'll see what happens. Oh, he gets it. He gets the e uh, the Q, but that's going to be it, and he takes a turret shot in exchange. Did Darius have his pull there? He did not. He leveled, no. he leveled uh, he W W first. All right, so that's slow. Not really helping him out so much. Yeah. If, if he would have pulled into the safeguard, that would have been pretty sick. and just guaranteed <laughs> a pretty much a kill. Yeah. <laughs> and now he's just shoving a new turret. As you can see, though, Fiddlesticks is wandering over, but Lee Sin very nicely placed a ward in that tri bush, so he will be spotted out. Gale's gonna oh. be safe there. Ooh, a Zenith Blade directly under the turret oh, by no. Leona. There's the grab. This might be first blood. He's dead. And there it is. NJ Sniper taking first blood on MF. Very nice start for her. That's that's or like him, I should say. In that's this like lane. Uh, Leona Mechanics 101. Do not <laughs> Zenith play anywhere near a Thresh underneath turret. Yeah, and as we can see, Kale really chasing Fiddlesticks down the jungle. She's now located at the Red Raids. Um, tr really trying to just get in on him, but just not able to do it. That's going to allow Darius to really get back in here and gain potentially a little bit of a CS lead. Looks like he's got a recall, in fact, though. Um, Got 600 gold, might go... What do you think? Do you, do you think that Darius needs to go aggro in this, or do you think that he needs to really just kind of be defensive? Because it looks like he's going to go the null magic. Yeah, if he just farm up, it'll be okay. At least he's trying to make plays, that minion getting in his way. <laughs> yeah, uh, just queuing a little too close to the minion, not going to be able to get in on the Ari. Uh, she's very, very elusive, very hard to get, so... The bot lanes are even, too, even despite that one kill. The CS is even. The, the gold differential is going to be there because of the kill. It's about 400 in the favor of Misfortune. So, gotta be careful for that. Fiddlesticks really is just waiting until he can just pro storm in. That's that's when the that's when the party begins. Yeah. And uh, we'll see some real plays out of him after that. Darius, he's fallen a little bit behind the CS, but he got a big way pushing up there, so he'll he'll have to clear as much as possible. And then uh, the mid lane really it's been kinda silent. Oh, oh nice lantern in over there. Demon gonna jump onto Tristana, but she gets the rocket leap away. Oh, now no. grab onto Leona again. Hi, I'm Rise, probably gonna be taken out yet again. Is Lee Sin going to take it? Yep. There he is. Demon going to go ahead and pick up a kill. He lands another resonating strike. Says no. I don't but know. he's like, I don't want to do that. Doesn't so. want to go on any turret. If she rocket jumped again, then you know, maybe, maybe he'll pick up a kill. But nice nice plays nonetheless. Yeah. From, uh, end game. Very nice well, well time gank. Uh, the lantern pull in was excellent. Uh, but now Kale caught out. There's the fear from the fiddlesticks. He's got uh, the silence and the drain. Pull nice in. pullback from Darius. There's the slow. Will it be enough? A flash from fiddlesticks yep. and ignite coming out. Willmeister picking right. up the first kill for the purple team. So 3-6. Six. 3-6 six Fiddlesticks gank. BBC on the map. So they're trying to get back into this one. So good gank from Fiddlesticks. A nice... Uh, Let's see how close that actually puts him to 6. Uh, okay, so he's, he's, he's fresh on his 5. So he just yeah, got he that. he just hit. So he's got a little bit more time. But good gank for him considering that he's not 6 yet. Yeah. Uh, and, very good start. Uh, Kale also bringing teleports to the top lane. Able to pick up all that CS. She was going to miss if she didn't have that. So good job to that. And she's going straight for the stinger, it looks. Okay, so straight uh, so to uh, she's Nasher's too. Straight to the Nasher's for that one. Um, straight to Nasher's, then Hurricane, and melt people's faces yeah. off. <laughs> DFG or nah, no, Rabbit. No, 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 maybe not DFG. DFG on maybe her. Death Cap. Probably Death Cap. Yeah, Death Cap. But, yeah, it's just going to be a matter of whether or not she can you know, sustain in her lane at this point. Uh, I mean, they're still even in farm, but now Darius up a kill. He's kind of low on mana, though, so he's, he's playing it safe, playing it passive, getting what he, what yeah. he can in it from a safe distance. He's also got the lead. She's got six, so now she does have the intervention. Mm -hmm. Lee Sin, though, trying to get up there to get the gank, uh, but Darius just he's getting pushed back on, not able to... Oh, Lee Sin not really able to get the grab. He's putting out a lot of damage on her. He might try to commit, but that now he realizes, it. oh, you know what? I don't have the mana to do this. Yep. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and... Smart poking, that's what that's called. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Some very, very... Uh, Nice fucking way, but yeah, most of the time you get too overzealous, so you don't realize how much mana you have. I'm just don't going have. all in. <laughs> so I just want to get them, and then uh, you're like, why can't I? Why can't I dunk them? 
Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm oom. It's not a free cast. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but uh, with the first backs, we got a tier on Cassidy and mid with another Sapphire. Chris is just going all in with the mana. BF Sword for Misfortune for, compared to the uh, Vampiric Scepter of Tristana, so that first kill paying off big. Trading with this Misfortune is going to be a nightmare. Franz has shown that Franz, Franz, I don't know, he's uh, shown that he can hit the hooks on the uh, Zenith Blades, so it's kind of forced Time Rise into a really curious spot because he has to be very picky with his initiations now. As we see Tristana. Yeah, that explosive shot really uh, doing a number on yep, pushing the lane into the turret. So they only have a ward on the try, so they are a little bit um, in a poor position if Lee Sin were to gank from the river. Unfortunately, oh. he's at Golems. Ooh! Ari right, trying to make a play on the Cassidy, but he will be able to just go on and uh, walk right out of there. Yeah, so the Spirit Rush will be down for her, and uh, she'll just use it to clear out some of the waves as well as apply some harass, but Matt goes in, looks for his own poke, gets charmed Oh, there's up. the charm coming across, E comes off, and he is taken very, very low. He's going to have to She doesn't have Ignite. If she was running Ignite, she would have killed him, but Absolutely. she's running heal for safety in lane, so that's, that's a little unfortunate for her. Understandable, but yeah, could have had that kill secured. It is what it is. At least she now knows that she has a potential to kill him. And as we can see, Willmeister again trying to go really hard against Black uh, Tesla over here, or Blaze Dex Tesla. Taking her down to below half HP. Uh, she's just trying to farm that lane back up. Oh, Franz not able to get the connect with the hook. Was no. ready to throw that lantern over Lee Sin. But now we see Fiddlesticks. Looks like he's just invading. He might try oh, to Here it comes. He's leaping the wall. He gets the fear off. Ari. Oh, wow. but a very nice rift walk away. He missed the charm. Oh, that was so unfortunate. That would have definitely been an easy kill for them. Yeah. Good for, uh, you know, very good for Kazan. He did burn his flash, but that's that's fiddle all down, so now the other lanes don't have to worry about it. But Demon gets the charm. Going to be taken down below half HP again here. Uh, now Bla uh, Blaze Tesla. Oh. oh, Intervention's the ultimate perfect timing. He's going to he's gonna go ahead. He ignites. He missed the Q. He, he, didn't, he didn't judge the right uh, range for that, so. Yeah, very slight misjudgment, and that cost him the kill right there. Now, Fiddlesticks, he's trying to get up here and get the kill, but uh, realizes he's not going to chase her down, so he's going to back. He's in as well, joining the top lane. Yeah, Kale's most likely going to go back to base, teleport back in, and uh, rinse and repeat the process, but Therios is asserting his dominance. He went for a Hex Drinker, he got another longsword now, and uh, using that mitigation and the magic resist to help him quite a bit. Yeah, that's that's really gonna help him out. Yeah, she's uh, she's got the stinger. She's gonna go ahead and pick up that amp tome. So she said it's you know straight in for the uh, for the Nashers here. So probably next back we might see it, as long as she can maintain her farm and not get pushed out, mm -hmm. uh, which will be very very good for Kale. Uh, she she does need that. But so far uh, a good a good job by Endgame. They're maintaining a decent lead, about 500 gold. Yep. But uh, that doesn't really determine the game. It's early on, you know. Yeah. 500 oh, no, gold. Not. Is Not pretty much all. nothing. It's one dragon or a team fight. <laughs> Cabeza, he's been, he's been waiting for his ultimate for a little while now. It's almost back up. 30 more seconds or so left on that. Here goes Wolmeister. He's huh? trying to go aggro again. Slow comes off. There's the grab. It's going to slow her with the W. Chunking her down. She's going to be able to walk away here, but he's he's zoning her out quite well. Ooh, and now sure. Suakun getting some good harass on uh, IMAT. Mm -hmm. That and charm is deadly. Yeah, Blazix Tesla's playing the top lane matchup pretty well. He's getting pulled in and then waits for the slow, then heals himself, so he speeds himself back up so he can escape. Yeah, he does have that nice sustain. Um, he doesn't have much mana regen though, so he's kind of kind of sitting back, using the the holy fervor when he can to get in that range attack form. Yeah, very much relying on the Doran's blade to be yep. fun. Or Doran's ring, I should say. Doran's blade, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ah, Doran's blade kill. Mm -hmm. Could I'd be a thing. AD kill used to be pretty popular. So. Back when uh, her old, her passive was actually really strong. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then they just added it to her for E, and then that changed the game. But with uh, with the Fiddlesticks gank mid, you know, that put Ari a little bit ahead. She did get the zone away a little bit. She's got a minor CS lead. She's building towards a Chalice. The Cassidy is building towards his Catalyst for Rod. They're looking for a little fight up top, but it's, yeah. just, it's just the same rinse and repeat, really. It's just, it's just I'm going to poke you, you're going to poke me. There's a fight down bot. Yeah, it's Peter Better back and forth. Oh, he actually gets the kill. She doesn't get the intervention off. And now in the bot lane, a nice gank by Fiddlesticks. They're going to pick up the kill on Thresh. Now MF trying They're to retreat back underneath the turret. She might be safe. Oh, Here Cassidy? comes Cassidy to help her out. Oh, but there's Suakun. Getting some good damage. Looks like she's going to go ahead and back off. Red I am buff. Rise taking a lot of damage. Being Oh, and there it is. The Ignite from Cassidy. Go, go ahead and secure that kill for IMAT. Now Demon's down here to join the party. 
Looks like they might try to shove in here, potentially get some good damage onto the turret. Tristana is recalling, hmm. uh, so it's a good opportunity for them. Uh, teleport burn top, KL returning to lane after getting killed right there. Yeah, so what? what's... Mm. But Suikun? Suikun? Did? Suikun. Suikun? I don't I know. Suikun? I it's feel a, like it's Suikun. I think it's a Pokemon. Yeah, Suikun. Yeah. That would probably wouldn't be. But he did a really good thing in following the cast in all the way down. He used his Spirit Rush to chase after him as well. And then, uh... Forced cast not be able to come into that fight until a really late stage of it. Where they were already a little too overextended. So, uh... He's doing a good job of this lane. Like, no, uh... No discredit to him for chasing down Cassidy all the way on their <laughs> side of the jungle. Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh oh. Oh, and now we can see him Stay getting chased. Up. There's the grab from Franz. I'm at going to put out a decent amount of damage. Sukun just doesn't have anything to escape, and that's going to be a kill. Another kill for I'm at now 2-0. He's down in CS underneath Sukun, but he's he's getting his, his yeah. gold back in kills. So very. Cassidy, good if he gets kills, still is just as scary as the old Cassidy. So exactly. Got to be very very careful. Um. Damon kind of he's been a little silent after his kill. He's kind of just farmed up, but you know the fiddlesticks, uh, the make of base that just he's almost got his uh, Zygmunt's hourglass. And when he has that, that's gonna be absolutely horrific to team fight against. Just comes in Zygmunt, you're like, oh, he already has that at almost 15 minutes of the game. He actually should, but there's a fight down there. Very very soon, and there we go. Nice ultimate coming out from in. Uh, oh, he missed the play from Leona. Yeah, good way to disengage that fight uh, for her and Tristana. Uh, just go ahead and get that. Nice uh, solar flare right onto NJ Sniper. But yeah, they are getting pushed around a little bit. That early aggression from the MF. I mean, she's already got a Bloodthirster over top of Tristana, who is very, very close to getting her own. Just about 300 gold away. Yep. Um, but even that is enough to uh -oh, set Demon. Now Demon really getting caught out. Cassidy coming in to help, burning down Fiddlesticks quite low, taking him to about below H uh, half HP. But now Demon knows he's going to get cut off here. Okay. They have Suicune. They have Willmeister coming around. Cassidy's uh -huh. gonna leap the wall. They are in a very precarious spot. Uh -huh. They are just bouncing between these turrets and three members of the purple team. Charm There's connects. the charm. Demon might fall right here. She uses the spirit rush. Very the nice crow. silence. There's Willmeister though. He's gonna go ahead, take it out. Oh, nice. I'm at. Oh, getting grabbed. Very nice intervention coming across from Tesla, but will they be able to escape? Tesla gonna go ahead, flash the wall. Cassidy flashes as well. Looks like they might be able to get out of this one kill, utilizing the move speed off of her E. I'm at recalling in a very precarious spot though. Ah, can they find us? Let's see if he gets out. They, they know, know he's there. there, and he gets out just in time. Oh, all right. So good back by him. <laughs> I'm really surprised they only got one kill there. There was some really good uh, disengage from uh, the side of uh, from what's this side? Big Black Carrot. They Big had Black really Carrot. good. Uh, engage onto that, but they just didn't want to use Crowstorm, they saved it, yeah. and they only ended up picking up one kill in the end, they're still down one kill, so they're also down a thousand gold, and uh, nice intervention to keep Matt alive in that fight too, like that was that was actually the clutched intervention of the game, to stop the uh, the dunk from Darius. Yeah, putting that right onto the cast and allowed him to just zip right out of there with all of his rift walks, and yep. I mean he did burn his flash, so not for not, you know, blue team did bur burn a decent amount, but for them to have three members collapse and purple only secure one kill, it was a bit of a misplay by them. So blue yep. team, good job in that situation. But as you can see, the bot lane though, they uh, big black carrots bot turret is taken very very low. It's about a quarter HP. Um, so another solid push. That one could fall. That could be our first part of the game. So you see he's looking, sticks, he's looking for that that, uh, that Ooh, crow storm over the wall. A nice grab on the. I got bub stomps. He's gonna go ahead rocket jump away. Playing away the Leona, and now Fiddlesticks making his presence known. Uh -huh. The Lantern comes out, and left Sutter steps back to grab it. Sukun, though, does he have the opening for the charm? He hits it on the Ender Sniper. There's the ultimate by Leona, wow. but she dives in deep, gets the stun, and that will be Fiddlesticks picking up a kill. Rocket jump in onto Franz by I got Pub Stomp, and Sukun gonna go ahead and take that one right there. So, great collapse into the bot lane by Big Black Carrot. Really uh -huh. come back into this one, but here comes I'm at onto Sukun. Looks like he might get the kill. Lee Sen not able to pick up the. Uh, he assists, but he didn't want to take the kill away from his mid lane. Whoa! Oh my god! And Willmeister. He didn't even think about intervention there. He's like, you know what? I, I have. <laughs> he didn't notice the amount of stacks he had, so that damage just completely caught him by surprise and held on to the intervention. He's like, you know, he's going to save this for the execute on the, the dunk so he gets the, the reset, but just uses it early, chunks him out, and spins, and that Kael didn't know what was coming to hit him. And there it is. That's actually the first turn of the game. Willmeister taking it in the top lane. Dangerous dragon, too. Oh, um, yeah. I mean, we just have Demon and, and uh, I'm at really dancing around here. 
Taking a lot of damage. Now Demon stuck over the wall, waiting the W on out. <laughs> they see Fiddlesticks, so they're kind of kind of playing it safe, backing off. Yeah. Don't want to throw away a dragon fight. That'd be really bad for them. So Kale Fiddle, just, is, could just, he could just solo this one. Yeah, he can. Fiddlesticks is probably one of the best dragon solos in the game, but has to be very wary for uh, for a gank from anybody else, as they already show themselves, and you're like, yeah, you're not going to be able to solo this. So he backs off, he goes back to the jungle, and uh, we'll look to see where his next uh, Crowstorm gank will come. But for now, this is actually a very, very even game. Only a 300 gold difference in 18 minutes. Yeah, very, very even. Swung back and uh, you know, into the favor of the purple team here. Yep. Um, but very oh, much. Oh, he's looking for it mid. Yeah, looks like Fiddle. For, gonna run into uh, Demon over here. Just gonna yep. have to back on out of there. Not gonna try to get a gank in. So they just back on. And uh, he's protecting his own jungle. Demon's doing a really good job of that. You see Wilmeister returning back into his lane. Kale's going to spot him out and just go ahead and back off. She does not want to fight him. He is way too big right now. Mm -hmm. He's got a Brutalizer now and a Giant's Belt with the Merc Treads. So she can't lock him down with slow. And she can't deal too much damage to him. Especially with the Hex Drinker that he's had. So she is in a very bad spot. down by 7 in the top lane. Okay. So but she is 0 and 3. He has four kills, so he is very not, significantly ahead. He's about 1,600 gold ahead, too, yeah. so... That's that giant's belt and, like, Doran's blade, if anything, of a lead, so... He's gonna rotate down, too, to this dragon, and it looks like... They're, they are gonna commit to this one. BBC gonna look for it? Um, so we gonna be very do careful. have a 5v4. Kale's the only one not here. It looks like MF might be getting caught by Sukun, but she misses the charm. Sukun being taken very, very uh -oh. low. Here comes the teleport in. Blue team steals away the dragon. Wilmeister taking very, very low. Demon gets the intervention on him. That will be a kill to Lee Sin for uh, on Darius. And now Kazadin trying to put the chase in here on I Got Pub Stomped. But wow, what a what a turnaround fight right there. Four for none and a Four dragon. Four for zero team. and All a right. dragon. All right, take it. Take it and just get out of this. Big Black Carrot not even getting the dragon right there. That is, nope. that is a huge turnaround. And now look at the gold lead. We were just 400 in favor of Big Black Carrot, just and like now that. we're almost 5,000. Yeah, and uh, that was probably the best fight they could ask for. That Big was Black perfect. Carrot, Big Black Carrot kind of kind of forcing that dragon a little too hard. They could have just disengaged and set up for the fighters, just look to try to siege out and wait for a Fiddlesticks ultimate. Not waiting for a Fiddlesticks ultimate really, really hurts them there. And they paid for it, so... Absolutely. Four kill casted in, two uh, turret down, and now they're maybe going to lose their mid-tier one, unless Fiddlesticks gets a good ultimate here, which Matt's like, I'm not going to overextend. Yeah, he saw Ari returning in. I'm sorry, might as well not try to force it out by yourself. Um, it's a very smart play coming from there, from them. Um, yeah, I'm at looking to become very, very deadly now. 4-0-2. Uh -huh. 122 farm. He's even with Ari, and he's three kills up. Yep. He could become an unstoppable force if they don't put an end to him very soon. Mm -hmm. As you can see now, Tesla getting spotted out in the top lane by Darius. She's just going to go ahead and back off. Does not want to fight Wilmeister at all. No. No one wants to fight for him. It's not a big, back there. <laughs> big black carrot right now. The Tristana 003, she hasn't really picked up any kills. Her gold is showing that she's pretty far behind. She's like about an item behind, so... That last whisper gonna be really big for this next fight for misfortune. Crowstorm comes out on top. Oh, here we go. Phil six, very nice ultimate, but demons right there gonna try to kick him in the turn. Not wow. gonna be able to close out the range. Uh, the intervention was burned by Kale, but a, a nice kill picked up the demon there. Uh, that's gonna bring him to three and one. A nice lead for this hit. In game, man, they are they are showing some serious skill. D demon on this Lee Sin, he's got some sick kicks. He got a good dragon seal. He's playing. Pretty well right now. Yeah, he's got the sightstone built, so he's going for you know like full mechanic release in. He's yep. gonna try to get in behind people and kick them into the team. Um, and so far, he's doing a very very excellent job of that. So if he can just maintain that, and then as we get further into the team fight phase, if he can maintain it, um, it's gonna spell disaster for yep. Big Black here. Very true. But they still have the uh, the safety net in late game Tristana and uh, her range. Exactly. As well as her crazy damage is a bit of a duel in mid. Ooh, Tesla doing a nice amount of damage to Suikun despite how hard she was getting stomped out of the top lane. She does have the Nash's Tooth complete. Now she's got a Blasting Wand. So, I mean, this could go a couple different ways. 
I'm not really sure where she wants to quite take this one. I mean, we could see Void Staff, we could see yep. for the Rabbitons. She might have just won for the cheap first purchase yep. off of the Death Cap, but um, only time will tell. She's sitting on about a thousand gold, so we'll see what happens when she hits about the 1500 mark, whether or not she's going to go safe for the needlessly large or just go for a blast at her for a Void Staff. Uh, I feel like. I think the Rabbins would do more for her. I think she's going DFG. That Amp tells me to go to the Phoenix Codex and then yes, the Arch Rod afterwards. So, should be the idea. But he should also be setting up behind the wall for an ultimate. It, actually, he's not up, so he's going to just show himself. Never mind. Yeah, he's got a little bit more time. That's where he's going to fall. Ooh, Wilster not getting the grab onto IMAT. They, uh, should, they should not be focusing on Oh, Sukun gets grabbed. Oh my god, a nice double shot coming up from Misfortune. That's going to give her her fourth kill 4 1 and 5. And the siege on this mid turret is just going to continue, and it it's, is going to fall gonna right fall. here. Yeah, they're going to even stop backs, so you got to be very careful to be back carried as they may even push a tier two or just look for another pick. Franz has been on point with yeah. these hooks so far, and he's going to keep chasing. Leona is. He thinks he can get it, but it's just a little too short there. Um, not going to be able to close that one out she, because Leona does have mobility boots, so yep. she's going to be. Easy to catch, but they're gonna get this tier two bomb. Yeah, they're gonna actually pop this. Oh, a nice. Oh, wow. Well timed Zonia is coming out from Fiddle Sticks, but Leona will fall quickly, followed by Fiddle Sticks. Kale picking up a kill right there. Twistana gonna go ahead and burn out Lee Sin, but Kale also picking up Darius for a double kill. Another amazing engage. They go three for one, only losing Lee Sin in yep. that fight. Um, very, very nice. And they almost took down. I got Pub Stomp. Excellent plays coming across from Endgame. Their communication is spot on in this match. Yep, Demon's kind of leading the charge. He got the flash kick. Zanyas was baited out as well, so he was stuck in an even worse spot than when he would have been if he got kicked and blown up. And uh, they're just kind of slowly taking away this game. 505 Cassidy hasn't finished his, uh, his, uh, not Seraph, the... What am I thinking of? Yeah, yeah, he's building towards the Seraph. Right Seraph yeah, yeah he's, he hasn't finished that just yet, so when he gets that online, you know, he's going to have a shield, he's going to have a lot of mana regeneration, and a serious amount of damage that he's going to be able to chunk out. Well, there's his recall, and he just went ahead and completed it right there. Staff, so. and then Zeris. Yeah, so not quite close. not quite uh, stacked up enough. He's 100 more here. mana, and then he'll be stacked up. So a couple more minutes, and he'll have that one. Um, fully built and ready to go. I got Pug Stomp. going to go ahead and pick up this red buff. She, they are just getting uh, caught out, so she wants to be able to kite as much as possible against this team. And, uh, the question is, will it be enough? I don't know. He didn't build the uh, Ruinous Hurricane. He built a uh, Death Cap on the Cal, so just yeah. looking for the flat up burst. Uh, Sunfire Cape was completed for Lee Sin, too, so he's looking to just be frontline, tank up, and deal damage with that. Yeah, we're going to have an uncontested Baron down here. Or Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Not Baron. Baron. Not Baron yet. Uh, uncontested Dragon. Coming in, so blue team picking up that one again. Tesla, though, getting caught up by Willmeister. Uh, this has the spell disaster for him. Oh, Ooh, nice. There you go. Nicely timed intervention. That will cause Willmeister to back off. Yep. Um, Kale going to go ahead and rely on her heal to keep her up. Now we have Mappy 2 coming in. He gets the slow and the silence, but they're both going to back off. They know that the rest of the team's coming up. As, one uh, good fiddle six ultimate will pretty much turn this game around. Yeah, absolutely. If, if he just if he gets the right like three or four man ultimate, that'll that'll be a quick game changer. Now Franz, oh. ooh Franz, a good grab. Not gonna have any follow up. Just gonna keep Sukun busy. He's trying to make a play here, but he's taking a good amount of harass. I am Rice. Very very. Oh, there's well. the fiddle the six. Star. There it is. But immediately kicked away by Lee Sin. That just nullified all of it. Now he is so oh. low. There's the Zonia's. Full time goes off. It will be interrupted by the charm. But Tesla. Gonna go ahead and pick up that kill. Now, I'm at jumping in on the Leona, getting that one right there. He's taking very, very low. He's got the silence in on Sukun, but it's not gonna be enough. Tristana, gonna go ahead and grab that one up. So, a Death two Sentence. for one. Connect. Death Sentence, a very nice grab. He goes over the wall, gets the play. Oh, and Lee Sin with a resonating strike, just jumping back in, picking up a kill on the Suakun. Very nicely played, turning a 2 1 into a 3 1. So they they just picked up whatever they could find. <laughs> they salvaged that as hard as possible, just diving underneath. <laughs> they're, they're actually getting chased down by the dragon pit, flashing forward. Ooh. He's got red buff. Yeah, Franz. I got pump stomped. He's out for blood. Both Franz and Demon are very very low HP, but they're gonna call off the chase. Um, they know they could they could just run straight to a turret. They don't know where the rest of the team could be. Yep. Better safe than sorry. Just gonna go ahead and recall out of this one. Yep. So they'll actually clear some wards out, get some counter warding, and now there's the uh, the recurve bow looking for the Runin's Hurricane. 
on that uh, the kale. It's the item I keep hyping up. I just want to see it built. I want to see him <laughs> use it. And uh, it'll come true eventually. So they're actually double blasting wand on a... Oh, yeah, on Ari. Ari. There. Huh. So it looks like... I mean, she's got the Death cap and one for Void Staff. That's... Yeah. <laughs> that would be my guess, but... Kind of be just better to go straight for the needlessly large or just finish the Void Staff rather yeah. than kind of going half and half on them. Um, so interesting choice by her. Very much a budget build. Yep. But Willmeister will secure that mid turret. Darius having immense push power. Uh, you know, that W is. Mm -hmm. And now they're actually looking for some kind of engage here. Right. Set, Ooh, High connects. Rise gets grabbed by Thresh, but there won't be any hard engage yet. They they do realize that there's a full five for uh, Big Black Carrot here in the mid lane. Kale up top doing that split push game, but it looks like some members of BBC will gravitate up towards that, alleviating the pressure that Gale's putting on. Um, but they're gonna have to retreat back under their own turns here. Yep, so... Hmm. Hmm. Alright, are they look for a siege now? They could just keep farming up the Tristana's 203, which is something that's kind of just stayed hidden for a little while. She's got her Infinity's Edge, she's got a Zeal, yeah. and she's gonna be looking for her Static Shape or a PD, depending on what she wants to do. And uh, she still can become that powerhouse late game that they need. If they delay this out for another maybe 10 minutes, they that Tristana will be huge. She's also keeping him in form so much. She's only down 30, which isn't that much. So yeah. let's see what she wants to do. While the Phantom Dancer has completed form is Fortune. So 419 and her too having, some, having an amazing game. That bullet times have been on point. And uh, I think kind of the, the hero of this game has been Demon. But oh, maybe look for a hook. Oh, Franz just not going to quite get it. The Willmeister gets his hook. The box is dropped. Franz is going to be taking that very, very wow. low. The intervention, intervention saving his life. But now How I Am Rai is going to be taken down by NJ Sniper. Looks like Demon taking very, very low. There comes a very nice bull time across the entire team. This could be the ace. I got Pub Stomp. Going to go ahead and have to rocket jump out. Bam. But there it is. Cassidy closing the gap with the Rift Wall. He will pick up a double kill. Taking down I got Pub Stomp. And that's going to be the tier two. That's going to be the ace. Yep. Um, so one for five. Very really nice well trade, and it was the Thresh. Yeah. Uh, so support for a full team, take it. What yep. a great exchange for them. And now possibly an inhibitor as Matt just tanks it up. He's got to be very careful, you know. He gets the heal. Yeah. He'll back off the swaps and aggro. That minion wave, when it does come in, they'll be able to push a little bit easier. Yeah, Leona's the only uh, one up. They could absolutely finish this turret right here, and they are going to. The inhibitor could be a little bit of a risk. Uh, but I actually, no, they're going to be able to take this with relative ease. Uh, Leona not going to be able to put out any damage yep. with which to kill anybody, so... She can try. Very nice play. All right. So, mid inhibitor down pretty big. They could look to uh, pressure Baron now, or pressure Dragon if they want to. Mid left on those objectives. Cassidy They'll steal away a blue. blue. Yeah, very important to get that blue. And uh, especially on the Cassidy. He's almost got a Zanyas now, too. Uh, currently 1,900 gold, so 100 more and I'll actually have it. And uh, we'll be on a merry way. As we see, he now does have the Seraphs. He did have it for that fight, yep. burned it, and that. It's probably what kept him alive. Uh, no, he used the Saras to tank up the turret in the mid lane. Oh, okay. Else was there, yeah. Okay. So, using the so other way on the shield. Uh, he's got his Lisa Large right now, too, so he's still hitting like a truck. There are some wards towards the Baron side. They could look to just try to force it out. The Hurricane's complete for Kale, too, so oh, the <laughs> amount of wave clear slash damage she can throw into everybody. Looking a little scary. Yeah, next team fight, unless Fiddlesticks really lands a good ultimate. Yep. Uh, Kale is probably just going to rip through people. Even if Fiddlesticks lands a good mm -hmm. ultimate, they might still be able to do it. They're going to have to capitalize off of her, off of his fear yep. on her. If you fear the Kale or you fear the Cassidy, then you're looking okay to go. Oh, but, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ward's you over. got the Q Fiddle on him. taking a lot of damage. Uh, very smart of Demon not to engage there, though. Certainly would have gotten burned out very, very quickly. But as we can see, they are split. Fron's not going to be able to get the hook in. That damage now, is Ari, ridiculous. Yeah, Ari trying to wave clear as best as she can. Um, but the super creeps are just being buffed too much. The Talisman being burned by Thresh just moving them, propelling oh. them into the, into the lane here. He actually forced out the Ari ultimate too, so really nice yeah. for him. Like she still has I'm they should be pressuring the lanes. They should take that tier 2 up top. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's smart get, play to go up top. Yeah, NJ Sniper doing a making the right call here. As you can see the rest of them gravitating up there. Looks like they're ready for the potential cutoff. They have that much cleared. Oh. Willmeister gonna walk right into it. There's the play, the slow, the silence. Whoa. Ooh, hi, I'm Rise. Really I, missing he, that solar flare. He thought they were gonna chase, so yeah. he decided not to risk anything. Crowstorm comes out. Yeah. Oh, Fiddlesticks ulting, though. And there's nobody under turret. 
Yeah. That so was... that's two major ultimate. That's two engages burned by uh, Big Black Carrot here. And this turret is basically going to fall. Suicune gets grabbed, though. Going to have to flash away, but she will get burned out. Demon just jumping right into the middle of the fray. Now, Fiddlesticks being taken very, very low. Hayam Rise just trying to escape. Leona just not going to be able to do it. Fiddle, uh, Rollmeister getting taken down. I got Pub Stomp once again relying on his rocket jump to get him out of just sure death, being just escaping with about 5% HP. All right. Just not good. Another 4 for 0 exchange in favor of Endgame. And they'll get a tier 2. Most likely another inhibitor up top. Are they going to play it safe? Go for Baron? Uh, they could stick around and t go for this this top inhibitor turret. Tristana is busy in the mid lane with the super creeps. The wave's going to keep pushing back in. That's going to go down. Um, yeah, they're not going to go for the inhib, which I believe is a you know, very, very smart move considering that the rest of uh, the purple team is coming up right now. But still, another inhibitor turret taken down by endgame. Yep, they have so. complete map control right now. Utilizing every advantage, 18,000 gold lead. It's just a matter of if they're going to throw or not. <laughs> Playing it safe, doing a good job. And I don't, think, I don't think they should ever risk Baron. I think they should just uh, keep on doing what they've been doing, sieging up, trying to bait ults out, and uh, keeping that high lead that they have. Well, if they get another play like that, they can absolutely close out the game. Right now. Yep. As long as they don't suffer too many losses. Yep. Um, you know, as long as they have at least three members alive, I believe that they could close the game after another engage like that. Um, the team really doesn't need the Baron at this point. It would just be something to get. They have such an extreme gold advantage. We're approaching on 20,000 at the 34 minute mark. Mm -hmm. um, so absolutely commanding lead. They can basically do whatever they want at this point. I didn't even notice the inhibitor turret was down bot, so all three inhibitors are open for pushing. Uh, they... They're kind of kind of hovering around Baron, but they're deciding not to. They're gonna go for Dragon, and they just need to push. That's all they need to do. Yeah. Pick it up, the dodge, fiddle, uh, ulti, and it'll be fine. Picking up yet another Dragon, just further extending their lead. Um, so they are well, well ahead. So Cassidy is already sitting on about 1,200 more gold, so he's gonna be able to back. I assume he's probably gonna. Go I feel for like this might be the final push. This this but is like in my kitchen day. If they if they get the right pick. So, we'll see what happens if uh, Demon can get in here, or maybe if Franz can get a nice grab. The mid inhibitor did come back up, so they are going to be dancing around that It looks one. like they're going to actually gonna try. They're going to clear the ward. They split up too far, though, so they're going to take a bunch of damage. Hook connects. Oh, there it is. Hi, I'm Ryze getting hooked, but no follow-up yet. Rollmice are taking a bit oh, of the rest. There's the Night Zenith Blade onto NJ Sniper, uh, who will get ripped in by Darius. A very nice fiddle sticks ultimate in the wow. middle of the fray, but he will be burned immediately down by IMAT. Kale now just ripping through people. The Hurricane is doing work. We got a double kill for Cassidy. That's it. I That's Matt. it. That's the triple kill. Can he get the quadra? He's going for it. Takes I got Pub Stomp down to half HP. Demon jumping quadra in. There's kill. the quadra kill. And that will be game. Yeah. Certainly so coming in. That puts end game into their uh, semifinals. And... Wow. Yeah, wow. Very dominating performance. And the Nexus falls, and that'll be that. So. Extremely well be, played by Endgame. They're going to be playing, I don't know who won between Sensual Freedom and Surrender. So they'll yeah, be playing we'll one see. of those two. Jellybean is going to be playing against Thanks for 500. OBGYN is going to play against SKT 14. And then Dota versus Dota Greater Than Lol is going to be playing against the winner of Cryptic versus You Only Lose Once. So we'll find out that stuff. But we're going to go to a break. When we come back, we'll have semifinals coming up for you guys, and then uh, grand finals after that. So stay tuned.